Hello, my name is Chris White and it's my great pleasure on behalf of everyone here at FruitNet to welcome you to this year's Asia Fruit Congress. I've moderated each and every Asia Fruit Congress since the first one back in 1998. Of course, this year, 2020, we're meeting in some very unusual circumstances. For more than 20 years, I and my team at Asia Fruit have been meeting up with you all in Hong Kong every September. Uh, this year, we're all meeting here online, just like every other meeting you and I have had this year. And we all know why it's different. It's because of COVID. This virus has stopped you and me from traveling. And like you, I haven't got on a plane since last February, now more than nine months ago. And yet last week's great news about the prospects of a vaccine fill us all with hope. We're counting on seeing you as usual next September. So let's do all this together. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So we're online with Asia Fruit Congress on, and we want to bring you as many of the elements that you know and love about Asia Fruit Congress. Many of you have been attending for very many years, and it's great to have you back again. For those of you joining for the first time, you're very welcome with us today. We hope this becomes a new habit for you, and you keep coming back each and every year from now on. Now, today's Asia Fruit Congress follows our tried and tested format. We've once again got an outstanding mix of expert speakers and panelists to talk about some of the big issues in Asia today. In a moment, we'll be talking about digitalization and how digital technology is now part of our wonderful fresh produce business here in Asia. Then we're going to be talking about urban farming in Asia. We'll also look at some of the latest consumer trends and spotlight two key categories, apples and table grapes. And we finish the day with a panel discussion that I'll be moderating on the fresh produce business here in Asia after COVID. So we've got a fantastic lineup of expert speakers and panelists, and ever it's been, as ever, it's been a full team effort to bring this all together. So I'll be joined by moderators from our Melbourne office, John Hay, Yushin Yang, and Chris Cormarek, and Mike Knowles, who is here with me in London. Um, right in the middle of this year's Congress, just like every year, we're presenting our Asia Fruit Awards. These annual awards, made jointly with our friends at Asia Fruit Logistica, are what everyone really wants to win. We've got four great winners for you this year, and I bet you can't wait to hear who they are. Our Asia Editorial Director, John Hay, will reveal all very soon. We also know that networking has always been a fundamental part of Asia Fruit Congress too. We know, you, we know that it's not so easy to achieve online, but our friends at Asia Fruit Logistica have come up with a solution that we know you'll like. So use the next three days of Asia Fruit Logistica on to look for new business contacts in the fresh produce business in Asia. It all starts tomorrow, Wednesday the 18th of November and runs through until Friday the 20th. It's going to be just great. Our first session of this Asia Fruit Congress starts very shortly. Before that, I wanted to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors. Your support of Asia Fruit Congress means so very much to us. You've been on this journey with us for many years and it's great to have you back with us again this year. Thank you so much for your support. It also gives me great pleasure to welcome our newest sponsor, Steve Magami, the co-founder and executive chairman of AgroVision, to welcome you to this Asia Fruit Congress this year. So let's go to it. Enjoy Asia Fruit Congress on. Thank you so much for joining. Steve, it's over to you. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Magami, the co-founder and chairman of AgroVision. We're proud to be sponsoring this year's Asia Fruit Congress. The pandemic we're all enduring makes it important that we have a forum to discuss the challenges and opportunities presented to our industry. I know I speak on behalf of all delegates in giving thanks for the creativity and determination that went into adapting this important annual event to these times. In the world of fresh produce, Asia is becoming ever more important. Consumers in Asia are discerning and brands are enormously important to them. So as a sector, we should be looking closely and constantly at the evolving attitudes and lifestyles of the many millions of people who live in this diverse and dynamic continent. The more we know about the consumer trends that drive demand for all of our produce, the better we'll be at meeting those needs and driving that demand further and faster. Imagine the impact on demand across Asia when there is a more widespread understanding of our product's health-giving properties. Whatever need we are meeting for Asian consumers, health, status, or sheer eating pleasure, if we keep improving quality, demand will keep growing. That's why innovation is so important to all of us. It offers the promise of consistently higher quality. 
the revolution in genetics can deliver the cultivars consumers crave. Irrigation, crop surveillance, pest management, chilling, packing, and shipping innovations, all of these things push quality higher and take demand with it. A rising tide of quality and demand lifts people too, creating opportunities for individuals and in the communities we all farm and operate in to better themselves. Today, we might be thousands of miles from each other, but we're a community nonetheless. And if we all keep innovating for higher quality, sharing our insights and experiences, just imagine what's possible.